hello everyone this is asmrf today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the process of photo editing that is the outdoor portrait photographs so special thanks to johnny bhai johnny brothers just because of uh, his photographs so this one was a raw image and after making it and just made it like that so this raw image that means uh, that means uh, this one is uh, shoot in a raw but i made it um, uh, like this so it's making like that so i'll show you how to make like this that means the moody uh, or the green and brown color and uh, i'll give you the preset download link for these tutorials or for this type of photo editing this one is outdoor portrait photographs and i retouched all the things the skin was like a rough type skin uh, makeup uh, blocks and like that and the green color was like that and uh, here's some shadows and other stuffs but uh, i made it like ultimately nice and polished image so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell like and for the new notifications so at first uh, i'll open up uh, that raw image or that uh, non-edited image so go to the file and open up here is the rc2 this one is raw image and open it up and it will open up in camera raw filters and if you are the user of the creative cloud version you are getting the camera raw filter by default otherwise you have to install it manually if you want to get the installation file download link of the camera raw filter uh, those who are this version uh, you can check out my video description and open it up open the image so you are getting this type of image and then press ctrl j i'm just taking a backup layer and uh, after that they go to the filter and photo toolbox and skin finer this one is plugins of the photoshop you can download this one and you have uh, the assumption to make your photographs like smooth and other stuff so make it zoom and more zoom just because of i want to show you the difference between the before and after in this image you are getting some like uh, spots and other stuffs but in this image it's not a single spot so here is the amount of smoothing and here is the amount of fining how fine will be like that medium like that and if you make it like that don't do that so this one is good and here is the uh, like uh, the skin tone so i'll make it a little bit warmy and the saturation i'll make it a little bit down and the brightness i'll make it a little bit up and contrast i'll make it like that and the shadow will give some shadow yeah and the, this one is the highlight i'll make it a little bit down and hit the ok button so skin finer now for the video detail you are getting the download link and there is also the detail video tutorial you can just watch it out and learn about the skin finer so let's see the before one and after one so before one was like that and after one you are getting like that but here is some spots and other steps i have to remove this one manually how to do that go to the spot healing brush tool and just this one just drag it before that you have to check the settings content your options and make the blending mode into normal and the brush will be like that 35 pixel and the spacing 20 percent that's good and here just a small make this small brush and just drive over here and here as well so this portion here here and here as well so here something okay that's fine so after that just uh, go to the filter and the portraiture i will apply these plugins again and before that you have to make copy by pressing ctrl j so go to the filter and the imaginatic and portraiture this one is another plugins of the photoshop i have another video tutorial about the scanner and the portraiture and you will check out my video description you will get this one in my video description so here is the sharpness i will increase the sharpness yeah that's fine and soften i'll reduce the soften yeah that's good and sharpness high 
and here is the fine options fine tuning and the medium will be like this that's fine and threshold that is fine so this image you are getting more smooth than the before one and brightness you can control the brightness and the tint so i'll make it a little bit warm type yeah that's fine and here warm don't increase the warm too much yeah minus or uh, one is good one is good for these photographs and hit the ok button you'll get another changes of the photo so it will make your photographs more amazing now by pressing ctrl j and then i'll apply here dodge and burn options for the shadow and highlighting so select these three layers make it group and make it merge after that press ctrl j and j so three layers actually so first one this one is the highlight layer and this one is shadow layer so that's why i've just given the name h and s so turn off the shadow layer select the highlight layer go to the blending mode and change into screen right press and blending options from here here is the underlining layer please just find out the highlighted area of the face and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face yeah and hit the ok button you can play with it uh, in your case the photographs you can do like that so mask it and go to the image and the apply image and hit ok so select this one that means turn on the shadow options go to the blending mode into change into multiply options right press blending options from here here is another underlining layer and find out the shadow area of the face that's fine press alter button and select the slider it will divide and adjust the shadow with the face and hit ok so after that again mask it and image apply image but in this case make it invert and hit ok so i just got two layers shadow and highlight so select these two layers make it group and make it match after that again image and apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you are getting like finest shadow and highlighting of the portrait photo so select these two layers make it group and make it match now i will apply the camera raw filter so go to the filter and camera raw filter so again i am just uh, telling you that camera raw filter is a plugin of the photoshop creative cloud version by default and if you are the user of the cs version you have to download it manually please check out my video description for the download or setup link so here is the small menu option that is the load settings and here the photo that means the, the xmp file preset for camera or filter and i'll load it up and open it up so it'll get a nice effect in your photograph so before one was like that let's zoom it in so before one and after one you are getting like that so that's fine a little bit zoom out yeah that's fine and hit the ok button so you are getting nice effects in these photographs so take a new blank layer and this one for the light light is coming from the right side that's why i'll just take a light like that so select the foreground color and you will get the color picker or eyedropper select here the face color so it will be like that so here so take this type of color and hit ok and now go to the brush tool and make the brush size bigger like that and make sure that the opacity and flow is 100% and select this one and press once and press ctrl T I'll make it bigger so like that so light is coming from the right side that's why i'm just make direction like that and go to the blending mode and make it to screen blending mode yeah that's fine and change the feel like 85 or 87 percent play with this one which is perfect for your photographs you have to find it out so select these two layers make it group and make it merge now i will apply the another plugins that is the neat collection for the color correction and go to the color effects pro 4 this one is the bunch of presets and bunch of effects so from here i'll apply another preset or another uh, like effects for these photographs it will be more amazing in the final result so it's loading up and here i'm using the cross processing and here is lots of methods you have to find out the perfect photo or perfect methods for these photographs so i think this one is good 
and here is the option the strength option if you need you can change it out you can make it increase or you can make it decrease it's up to you so in this case i'll make it 35 percent yeah and here is the other options opacity shadow and highlights things so after that you can just make it hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so it's loading it up and give you the output yeah before one let's see the before one and after one now i'll control the lights so go to the adjustment layer and go to the solid color and find out the solid color like this and hit ok and go to the blending mode and make it soft light so it will be more amazing and brown type green color or brown and green color so i'll give you the color code that is the 736-94959 so i'm just making copy and paste it i'll give you that color code and hit ok so after that again adjustment layer and levels from here i'll adjust the lights and it will make more amazing for these photographs so yeah that's fine so let's see the before one was normal image or ordinary image and you are getting the final result like brown type green color so this one is perfect for these type of photographs and outdoor portrait photographs so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and i reached the 200k subscriber and thanks for to this type of achievement and this achievement goes to you and thank you so much if you need to download the presets and other stuff please check out my video description all the resource link i'll give in my video description don't forget to press the bell icon for the new notifications i'm i'm asmr is signing out today and bye bye